Hey, how's it going? My name is Jackie Fish and welcome back to some more Kingdom Come Deliverance. This is episode two and if you ended up missing episode one, I'll leave a playlist down below. There'll always be a playlist in the description of the video. So if you did miss any of the episodes, you can go back and check that out. I would really appreciate it if you could drop a like and a comment on this video if you did enjoy. And this is going to be my second upload of the day for Kingdom Come. And if you want to see more kind of double uploads of this Let's Play, then the best way to do is by hitting that like button and commenting down below. So where we last left off, we obviously started the game. We woke up after a drunkard night. Our father gave us some errands to run in the village. We went ahead and threw poo at someone's house. We stole a hammer and nail to sell. We practiced some sword fighting and then we helped our father design a wonderful sword for Sir Radzig who is our lord of the village and I guess the mini castle which we currently live at. Then unfortunately the king's brother brought a mighty host of troops here and just absolutely raided and pillaged the city. Everyone was running back to take Haven in the castle. However, my mother and father did not make it and they were quite brutally butchered on the way up. I saw that with my own eyes. I started to flee and I was told to go ahead and raise the alarm at Tamburg, a close village close to, close to where we are right now. So that is currently what we are. We're fleeing the castle, running down a side, side path of the moat and hopefully we can escape and get to Tamburg and raise the alarm to let them know that there is an army raiding and pillaging on the way to them. So let's just jump straight into it and start fleeing down this path. I think this town itself is quite heavily... Oh my god, there's someone's chasing me as well. And we are obviously not equipped to deal with him at all. He's going to be pretty heavily, heavily armoured. I mean, as you guys saw, uh, we're just going to dive down here as well. I'm not even going to take the long path. I uh, need to make sure we, we rest, rest our stamina, though. We don't want to get overwhelmed because... We need to make sure we always have enough stamina to keep on going. But yeah, their army looked insane. Uh, it was fully armoured with knights, lightly armoured infantry, um, and just a whole ton. We stood no chance. And the village, I can't imagine, will stand a chance. Even the castle, which is pretty nice. Like, the castle is a decent, you know, fortification. But against the force that he has brought to take it down, there is no chance whatsoever. So here we go. I assume we'll we have to go ahead and get on a horse to escape. It's probably the smartest move we could we could possibly do. And we've just got some stuff. So basically just normal movement to trot, to walk. I press caps lock, W and shift, W, shift, shift. Okay, cool. That seems uh, close enough. So let's carry on going. Oh my god, that does not look good. Whatever's happening over there. He's not chasing me anymore. God, should I intervene here? I do have Sir Radzig's sword. No, there's no way. They're three heavily armoured knights. He's chasing me. Let's just go ahead and get on a horse and, and get going. We'll just go ahead and choose this horse. So let's just get the hell out of here. I don't think I can. Unfortunately, as much as I would like to save her, I don't think I can. So we're just going to get the hell out of here. I'll also put my sword back as well. Let's just ride to the next town and get the hell out of because there's just nothing we can do here as much as I would love because as, as we said we're trying to role play so I want to be honorable and I want to help out you know people in need but that was just a lose-lose situation yeah you can see the people just getting absolutely massacred and look at all the horsemen on the hill coming down oh god and some archers as well they don't look on Hungarian whatsoever though they look like um like eastern eastern units because i'm from medieval 1212 i'm quite used to like the look of it they look like kivian rusk like units i assume now though we're gonna have to ride as hard as we can to tamburg and we will be being pursued by the uh, enemy riders i guess trying to silence me stopping me from raising the alarm so crap let's just go uh, I, by the sounds of it, the, the archer is right behind me. You can see I'm currently bleeding right now. So I'm actually going to be like almost strafing a little bit, trying to duck as many of these archer fire, uh, as many of these archer shots as I can. But look, the village is just burned to the ground. No mercy whatsoever. I can, I can luckily see the, um, I can luckily see the marker in the top of my screen. Tamburg is to the left along the stream. Tamburg is to the left. Okay, I can do that. Hopefully I'm far enough away so I don't have to weave anymore. But my horse is starting to get a bit tired. So you can see that energy bar of my horse in the, the green bar on the left next to my HP. I don't want to look behind me though because I feel like if I look behind me he's going to start shooting me. I'm just going to ride this horse as hard as I can and hope it's going to be enough uh, that we can escape it. I'm, I'm... Yeah, Scalitz is burning. 
Ooh, we also leveled up as well. We're level three now. Yeah, our horse is about to like keel over. I'm gonna give it some rest. Oh god. Yeah, I'm gonna give it some rest, but yeah, he's gonna be shooting me. Okay, I can't wait anymore. You need to go again. L rest of the horse a little bit. We just need to keep on riding it hard and getting the hell out of here. I can hear that archer trying to take pot shots off at me. Hopefully it's enough. I mean, if, we have probably what, like two, three more arrows we can take. Yeah, guys, get the hell out of my way. To Townberg, indeed. That sounds good. It sounds like we're, we're closing in on Townberg. Dude, turn the other way and run. Our oh, horse is about to get tired. God, oh, don't shoot me. Okay, we have to go again. We just have to hope. I don't think we can take another shot. We just have to pray to the gods that to the gods that we can make it on this much energy because I think one more shot might take us down. Hopefully that is Townberg. Oh, that looks like Townberg. That is a beautiful looking castle. Come on. Come on, horse. Just do. Yes, we did it. Thank God for that. Also leveled up in horsemanship as well. Townberg looks awesome as well. Much bigger than uh, our previous holding. Jesus Christ, indeed, my lady. Yeah, his language sounds very like a hunnic. And obviously then face masks as well. So I would assume they're like like Eastern units. And they did say that they were used heavy mercenaries as well, so. That's so awesome. Closing down the uh, gate. That's so cool. Skullets have been attacked, guys. <laughs> Oh, look at that arrow as well. Whew. Someone give him a drink. And bring hot wine and bandages. Tell me, boy. Who are you? And where are you from? What in hell's name happened? I've come from Scalitz. They burned it to the ground. Slaughtered everyone. Who? Who burned it to the ground? A huge army. They attacked without warning. And, and they weren't Czechs or Germans either. Who then? I don't know. I've never seen armor like it or heard their language. Maybe Tartars? Tartars, you say? Yeah. Well, we'll deal with that later. First, let's have a look at that leg of yours. Yeah, let's get this arrow out of my leg, for God's sake. And try Watch not to teeth, destroy an artery would be great. Up. Is that it? Game over? Are we dead? <laughs> Thankfully not. Oh, look at that arrow, though. Easy. I went in a good, like, six inches into my leg. You were lucky, lad. The arrow missed the bone. It only needed bandaging, and I've done that often enough before. War is a good teacher. Can you stand? There you go. Good as new. Thank you. If you idlers nothing better to do, get back to work. You'll have to speak to Lord Divish. Can you manage? Oh, look at the dog. <laughs> awesome. So this is the Lord of Townberg, I would assume. Sir, this is a survivor from... I heard, Robart. Tell me, boy, what exactly happened? Did you see the insides of the attackers? And were there any more survivors? So, um, I don't know what army it was, but it was huge. There were dozens of banners flying on the hill above Scalitz. 
And the ones who did the slaughtering spoke a, a, a strange language. They burned scallops to the ground. But a lot of people took refuge in the castle. I wasn't quick enough. And as I fled, they shouted from the battlements that I should come and warn you. The soldiers the boy didn't recognize. They could be those Cumans of Sigismund's. Oh, Cumans, not they came to Kievian the Rust. East, and now they're the core of his army. And that was also the guy Second which was this uh, Radzig as well. Must have given him a taste for stolen silver. Scalos is a small castle, sir. If Sigismund attacks, they can't hold. Indeed, Sir Robard. And our small garrison would be no help, even if we could risk sending them. Do you think we're next in line? Maybe. What's your name, boy? I'm Henry, son of the Scalitz blacksmith. I know him. Did he make it inside the castle? I'm sorry. It's in God's hands now. No one else can help us. Anyway, thank you for risking your neck to warn us. Robard, take care of Henry. Make sure he gets something to eat and some rest. Yes, sir. And get all the people inside the gates. We have to prepare for the worst. Make all the necessary arrangements. As you command, sir. I guess we'll be preparing for a siege. <laughs> a siege at Hamburg, then. Seems like a sensible lord, though. Hopefully Sir Radzig is okay, even though obviously they said that the castle probably will not hold if they do storm it. But, you know, a siege will take weeks to prepare for, so I'm sure Sir Radzig can maybe sort uh, something else out to, you know, maybe try and escape or something would be great. I mean, we have his sword as well, which I'm sure we'll be keen to give to him. So I think what our quest now is to go get something to eat right here. Oh god, look at this castle as well. For each castle we go to, the next one just looks even better. And again, Townburg, I believe, isn't exactly a huge city either. So yeah, it's, it's a bigger village, but the castle itself isn't huge. It has a nice little wooden fortification out there in the actual castle. But it's not a huge, huge city whatsoever. And we came from, uh, from Scalitz as well. Again, pretty much just as small. So I'm excited to see the huge ones when we go to them. But I think our quest at the moment is to go ahead and uh, get something to eat. Uh, let's talk to Sir Robots then. Something. Yeah, let's talk to him and hopefully we'll, we'll fetch ourselves some food. You've done well, lad. I'm sorry for your loss. It must have been terrible. You must be all done in. Why don't you go to the kitchen and have a good meal? Sorrow is easier to bear on a full stomach. Obviously losing our parents as well can't be good. Father. You can see it's gone all blurry. We are starving. But it's kind of cool hearing all of the like legendary stuff as well. Like everyone knows my father, so he must have been a proper OG at some point. Hey, what? Are you serious? Let's get something to eat finally. Ah, I'm the lady. You are fortunate, our good lady Stephanie of Talmberg has graced us with her presence. My lady, I'm honored. So this is our brave young man. Welcome, lad. Bojana here will take care of you. No doubt you're tired and hungry. <laughs> Indeed. How could he not be, poor soul? After everything he's been through, he must be as hungry as a bear. Aren't you, young master? Here you are, then. Eat your fill. And a little wine to wash it down. Thank you, my lady. <clears throat> when you're done, you can go and rest with the grooms in the outer valley. No, that won't do, Sir Robard. After all he's been through, he deserves a proper bed. Let him sleep in a lodge in the courtyard. Certainly, my lady. Young Henry here is overwhelmed by your generosity. Oh, yes, yes, thank you, my lady. May God reward you for your kindness. Eat up now. You're in capable hands, so... I'll leave you to it. Good night. Good night. Good night, ma'am. When you've done, you can sleep in the bedchamber of the courtyard lodge. And don't forget to take off those filthy boots before getting into bed.
So I guess we'll go ahead and eat now. We have plenty of food at the kitchen anyway. Yeah, look at all of this food. I guess we'll just pick this up and then uh, start chowing down. We are starving right now. Is there any food to like be- Oh my god, look at us. We are exhausted. And this is just the effect of not eating, so we do need to be very careful. Uh, we'll pick up a few bits of roast duck. Um, any, any other interesting bits of food here? Some cheese, why the hell not? And this will all go to my inventory, so... I'll pick up an apple or two, because I imagine apples last a long time, whereas, like, meat probably perishes over pretty quickly. Is there any food on the stove to eat? Yeah, right there. I'd, I'd much rather eat this food, because it's, it's like, free. Thank you very much. So, oh, we need to eat again. Wow. That did not fill us up much whatsoever. Oh, you can also, you can also drop in the pot as well. Um, I guess we'll just, I guess because we were so hungry. There's no food out here either. So let's just go to our inventory. We'll go to our food. We have plenty of it. Yeah, look how many apples and stuff we have. Um, and I guess we'll eat the stuff that is slowly starting to go out. So, um, I guess these cabbages. We'll chow down on these. And you can see our nourishment right here going up. I would imagine it goes up to 100. Um, and so we should no longer be hungry. Just, we'll keep on going up. That should be fine. We also gain a bit of energy there as well. But you can also see, because we are currently tired as well, tiredness, you can see our speech and charisma is also going down because of that as like a side-on effect. So now we just need to go to the lodge, I believe, which if we go to the map, we can see where it is. I think it's just in the courtyard, right? So let's make our way over to the lodge. Actually, I want to quickly take a look. Before we do do that, I want to quickly take a look at the battlements. Because it's just so cool. Like, I love the design of these castles and how much work has been put into them. We will see this uh, very, very soon. But just looking out over the battlements, you can see the, uh, the drawbridge is right there. The actual fort itself. It just looks so awesome. And I can't wait for the actual sieges to happen. You can even just see down there. I mean, just look at that. Look how beautiful the game does look. It, it looks amazing. So now let's go ahead and sleep. We've got like a nice little watchtower there. I, I really hope we run into a siege not too long in, in, the, in the future. You know, because that's going to be awesome. I'll also look at all their horses as well. You can see one of these is my horse, I think. Yeah, my, my horse is right here. But look at all the, uh, like, lord's horses. About a million times better than ours. Not going to lie. My lord's. Um, so yeah, right here is where we need to go. I assume this is our room. I will. So I'll, I'll close the door. And we'll hopefully get a good night's rest. But again, that army, we need to be very careful of that army, which is uh, currently burning skulls to the ground. Let's go ahead and sleep. Hopefully get rid of this tiredness thing. So you can sleep. It's kind of like if you compare it to w the Witcher, you can sleep for any amount of time, pretty much during the time we can sleep, you know, until daybreak. Um, so I guess we'll get a good 10 hours sleep. I mean, we have been through a lot. We've been shot in the leg by an arrow, for God's sake. So I guess we will sleep. However, if any events pop up or anything like that, you will be woken up like this. Today the patrols will be doubled. Keep your eyes peeled. If you see anything out of the ordinary, report it immediately. Understood? Yes, sir. Yes? It is I, Henry. Forgive the intrusion. Of a lady of Townburg. I didn't wake you, boy. Did I? My lady, uh, um, no, no, not at all. But what brings you here at this hour? Oh, look at Sir Radzig's sword in the corner as well. It's awesome. You could do with a little wine. A little? How about a lot? It's just what you need to help you sleep. My lady, um, thank you. You really shouldn't. You could have sent a servant. I was going to, but to tell you the truth, I couldn't sleep either. I thought of you while saying my prayers. How awful it must have been for you. I came to offer you solace, to let you know you're not alone. Thank you. Thank you kindly. You're welcome. Now, Henry. I know this is all very new and strange for you. But I want you to feel at home here. You're not to worry about anything except getting better. God knows you've been through a terrible ordeal. I know what it is to be left alone in the world. 
although your loss is much greater. But with God's help, the pain will ease in time. And it can help to talk about it, if you feel like it. She seems like a really, really nice person. I'm glad she's opening uh, her arms to me at Townburg because Townburg seems like a nice enough place. Maybe we could stick around here for a little while. So we could talk about it or just like not talk about it or actually tell her the story of a raid. Yeah, why not? She seems nice enough. So let's go ahead and open up to her. I'll tell you what happened. It was terrible and unexpected. The day started just like any other. Father sent me into town on some errands. Oh, we actually get to do this. This is cool. Um, oh my god, it's a timer as well. Um, so let's go ahead and say I went I to uh, right talk to my friends. Scalic's ale house. When we heard Deutsch praising Sigismund, our blood boiled. My mates decided to teach that fool to mind his tongue. So, thanks to us, Deutsch had to scrape horse shit off his newly whitewashed house. Maybe I shouldn't have said How that. Foul. Yeah. When I'd done all the Maybe that wasn't the best thing to do. I panicked. I promised father I'd help him with his work, and I was looking forward to it. He was forging a sword for Sir Radzik. Um, Sir Radzik came... I, okay, she's she's a woman, so we have to pick at what we say. I, I shouldn't have done that last one. That was foolish father by me. Father always chat in the forge. On that particular day, I asked him if he'd teach me swordsmanship. He said no. He said it's better for a man to keep his head on his shoulders than lose it over some pointless heroism. If only you'd known what fate had in store for us. Oh. There we go, a success there. was already on the horizon, ready to attack the town. Uh, I saw smoke on the horizon. There was a huge horde of attackers. Yeah, we'll, we'll do this one. A horde of soldiers was amassed. Pennants flapped in the wind. The armour glinted in the sunlight and the horses whinnied impatiently. They were waiting for Sigismund to give the command to attack. How awful. And then death descended on Scalitz. Oh god, there's a lot of them here. The Scalitz folk fled to the castle for cover, tried to fight back, but he fell. Or did he die? Um, I guess. The gate to one. the castle was open. The bells and horns sounded the alarm, and the villagers ran to the castle to take cover. They were carrying the few possessions they could grab in haste, and I saw the terror in their eyes. I can't even imagine how awful it must have been. I ran to the castle like our neighbours to take cover, but I didn't make it. I had to find another way to save myself. The men on the battlements called down to me to flee to Talmberg and warn you. I was lucky I knew a concealed path around the castle. So the humans were plundering the village. The siege had begun. I needed a horse. I ran for my life. Uh, let's say I needed a horse. I needed a horse to get to the safety of Talmberg and to warn you all. And with all that was happening... You thought of others like a good Christian. Then I heard a scream. It was Teresa, the mill wench. She'd been caught by a gang of cumin salvages. Oh, that was Teresa I abandoned earlier. Oh, if I would have known that, I could have, I could have helped her, maybe. Oh, wow, we can lie. We can say that we helped her. I don't want to lie to, to Lady Stephanie. She seems like a really, really nice woman. She's helped us out. She's brought us food and wine. So I'm not going to lie, but it's kind of funny that you can. And obviously, also, we're role-playing. Henry is kind of a quite an honourable guy, uh, even though I didn't help Teresa. Oh, Teresa was such a nice woman as well. Uh, she was a person who came and picked up the nails from my father before the siege actually happened and before the attack happened, I guess. But yeah, I, w I won't lie to, to uh, I Stephanie. To help her. God knows Lady I Stephanie, to I should say. Even though I had the sword we made for Saradzik, they had me outnumbered and they were well armed too. I only just managed to grab one of their horses and ride off. I couldn't help her any more than I could have helped my parents. It wasn't your fault. I'll never forget the horror. It will haunt me for the rest of my life. That's terrible. How could something like that happen? God alone knows why he lets such things happen. Oh, you poor boy. I understand your grief, but God is not to blame for the ills of this world. That is the work of Satan and those who do his bidding. Those who are corrupted by greed, envy, and pride. You must not lose faith, whatever life brings. Fate has 
not been merciful to me and my husband either. Although in comparison to the horrors he went through. I was young when I married my husband. It was my father's wish. Divish was a lot older than I, but a woman must bear her lot. Shortly after our marriage, before I even got a Divish look at being Tamburg, the Lord of Townburg, the by the way. Stormed and my husband was imprisoned. Really? My husband had some quarrel with Sir Havel Medek of Valdek, who decided to resolve it by force. He stormed the castle, burned down the village of Pribislavitz, and killed many of our men, even the old Chamberlain. He imprisoned my husband in the castle and put his own garrison there. That's awful. I was barely 18 years old, and... All of a sudden, I was left alone with Sir Robert. We didn't know what to do. We went to Prague to appeal to the king and sought help from Divish's friends, but all to no avail. We tried for years, but it seemed I was destined to be left alone and my husband to rot in jail in his own castle. Years, you say? Seven years. That's how long it took before Havel was condemned as an enemy of the crown. And even then, he refused to surrender the castle and release my husband. In the end, I raised the money to pay a ransom. And only then, by the grace of Lord Jesus, did I finally lay eyes on my husband once more. Seven years. And was Havel punished for it? Never. And after seven years, my husband returned to me an infirm old man. Sir so Divish seems like a good, strong man. Well, certainly, only he has many concerns. He had to rebuild Townburg. After he was released, the king appointed him Burgrave of Prague Castle, and he was very busy. He had no time for me at all. But at least we were in the city, and there was something going on. And now, we're here. My lady, you're still young and beautiful. Your best years are still ahead of you. Would that that were true, lad. Would it were true. I need to be careful. I'm kind of punching above my station here. She's a, a lady. You have troubles enough of your own. I'll go and let you sleep. Whoa, don't take the food away. What's the point of bringing it in? If you're just going to take it away, Enjoyed my lady. Our talk, Henry. Good night. And God bless. Good night, my lady. Lady Stephanie seems like a good person. Hopefully nothing uh, foul happens to her throughout this uh, campaign. Let's get some rest. Hopefully our leg will heal. And we found out some good stuff about Sir Divish as well. The Lord of Townburg. I guess we're having a nightmare right now. Flashing back. Yeah, we're, we're flashing back to the assault and skillets. Rewatching our mother and father getting butchered. That was brutal. They just did not give up on killing her. And I guess Henry blames himself for, for not helping. Not that I could do anything. It's like with Teresa at the mill. Wake up. You don't want to miss this. What is there? What's happening? Come to the battlements. One of our patrols reported a company heading here from Skelets. That can't be good. I can, maybe he, maybe the uh, King's Brothers Army has been sent up ahead. Sigvold, Sigvold, Sigvold. I don't know. I'm sure we'll find out more about him. As it's still night time as well. Does look like it. Oh, I found out how to whistle. I meant to press crouch. Okay, cool. So yeah, it does look like it's still night time. The torches are on. So we just got a torch ourselves as well. Um, we have our sword. 
So that's our sword. We don't want to get our sword out. Do I have to go into my inventory and stick it on? I probably do, right? Yeah, there we go. Perfect. So we'll whip out our torch uh, so we can see. Obviously, it being as dark as it is. And there's no, there's no electricity, unfortunately, in 15th century Bohemia. So we'll have to deal with the torches. Again, the graphics just... I just can't... I have to keep on harping on about it. The cool thing is as well, it's not like any of this area is secluded to me. If I wanted to, I could go up there. I could go all the way to the top of that, you know, of that tower. And that's something I just love about this game. The fact that we do have so much... Uh, just, like, maneuverability. I mean, at the moment, we're still very much, I think in the prologue honestly so you know we're kind of more stuck on a path which we have to kind of follow through on anything down there it looks pretty dark to me don't know if you can really see something but i did say about doubling the patrol so oh here we go so devish is right here uh, i guess let's talk to sir robard and ask him what the hell is going, going on? on i don't know it doesn't make sense why would Sigismund advance on Talmurg in the night? Especially since he's lost the element of surprise after the rain on Scalitz. Maybe it's not him. Then who is it? The scouts Jivish sent to Scalitz to spy on Sigismund said he'd set up camp and was getting ready to storm the castle. And Sir Radzig is an experienced soldier. He'd surely hold the castle for quite some time. It doesn't make sense. What else did the spies see? Not much of anything. Before they could get close enough, this huge storm started. And you were right. Sigismund has a hell of a lot of soldiers, including all manner of mercenaries. An army like that costs a fortune. Well, anyway, we'll find out when they get here, won't we? Well, I believe Skelets yeah. is a, a silver mine, so that's probably one of the reasons it was attacked, you know? It's a silver mine, it's not very heavily defended. It makes sense for Sig Sigmund to... Uh, I keep on forgetting his name, I apologize. I know that can be frustrating. Who is this? Lucifer and all his minions! Sir Ratzig! Sir Ratzig! What a relief! Is his lordship there with you? How the hell did he escape? He right here. What are you doing up so late, Divish? At your age, you need a good night's sleep. <laughs> well, Ratzig, you didn't exactly pick the best time for an outing either. In a big hurry? It was a bit of a scramble, all right. Believe it or not, this tempest is a godsend for me and my men. As my old granddad used to say, better a sore throat than a slit throat. I can't complain with that. My father was a wise man. Your messenger told us what happened. Messenger? The lad you sent to warn us. He's alive? He made it to you? He's here with me. He only got away by the skin of his teeth, though. Thank God. A brave young man. But tell me, friend. How on earth did you manage to get away? Thank God for this tempest. When it began, Sigismund's Tatars crawled into their holes and left the storm in the castle for more clement weather. We were able to sneak out right under their noses. The Lord be praised. We wouldn't have stood a chance against them. Would you like to spend the night in Tumber? No, no. When Sigismund finds the castle empty tomorrow, he might come looking for us. We'd only be exposing you to danger. Without me and my men, he has no call to attack you. What will you do then? We'll march to Ratai. It's only a short way, and there we'll have a better chance of defense and enough room for all of these people. If Sigismund should come, better bend your knee, Divish. There's no point dying in a battle that's futile. You're right there. Is that boy still with you? I'm here, sir. You have courage, lad. That I can't deny. I am sorry about what happened. Would you care to join us? I'd like to, sir, but first I have to return to Skalitz. Are you mad? What do you want there? I can't leave my mother and father. I won't leave their corpses rotting in the street. I'll join you once I've taken care of them. Don't even think of going back there, you donkey. Are you tired of living? But sir! Quiet! I'm sorry about your father, but getting killed as well won't help him. Divish, make sure that lad doesn't budge from Talmberg until things quieten down. Not to worry, friend. Anyway, he's injured and needs to recover. I'll lock him up here as if he were Havel of Baldic. <laughs> I've seen you've grown a thick skin since your tribulation, sir. But thank you. 
We'll meet again when circumstances are more favorable. Farewell. Farewell, friend, and good fortune. Give my regards to Sir Hanish. I will, and good luck to you and your people too. These are dark times. Move out! So I, I guess we will be um, safe if the army does come from the king's brother because Sir Davish seems, or Sir Davish, it does seem like he is willing to to almost bend the knee to the army to, to keep his people safe, which is smart, you know. There's no pe no need to do anything too crazy and, and Man, say that. We'll have triple patrol. And say that we want to defend. So let's talk to Sir Robo again. I mean, he'll probably just send us back to bed, maybe. Let's see if we can help. What is it you need? I could use an extra pair of eyes, and yours are keen. Will you keep watch of the battlements with my men? Is that a request or an order? I'd rather it was a request you answered yes to. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> I have to pay you back somehow after all you've done for me. Splendid. And don't worry, I'll tell the men to relieve you later. Oh, has the rain stopped? Oh no, the rain is still pouring down. It's just not as heavy as it was before. So we just have to keep watch on the battlements. I can definitely do that. Or well, we actually have a village down there as well. Unfortunately, you know, it's pretty dark. And Sigismund could send his army as well, you know. He could suddenly realise that they have fleed... Uh, Skeletons and they are pushing over. God, trying to remember all of these names is an absolute mission. Oh, that's so cool. Look at that. You can see someone patrolling down in the village. Uh, I just love that about the game, how there's always people doing their own stuff. So I guess we can explore the battlements a little bit. Yeah, you can see him down right there. I really hope we get to do some awesome sieges in this game because that must be so much fun. I guess we'll follow this lord up here as well. Why not as we march along the battlements? Just explore the castle a little bit more. Oh, we can see the entire village up there. It's a bit dark, obviously, but... We can see quite a lot up there. Yeah, we can see pretty much the entire, you know, downward village right there. Oh yeah, and this is obviously must be the gate as well. Look at the detail that goes into it. The weights to keep this iron, iron bar down. Oh, we're in a private area. Probably shouldn't be here. Don't want to annoy anyone. You here to talk to me, my lord? Wandering around like a stray sheep. Must be your first watch, eh? What well, gave you that idea? Much will be happening today. You can just lean against the wall and wait till morning. I'll show you what's what. I will. Thank you. I appreciate it, my lord, but I don't want to get soaking wet. So we can go ahead and wait some time by just pressing T. So that's good. It means we don't have to always just, uh... We don't have to always just sleep or anything like that if we want to pass some time. So we can just press T and wait until morning. Um, I assume 5 is morning as it's, it's bright again. So we're just going to wait till then. And hopefully that will be uh, long enough. Wait out the watch. My lords, are we, we still going? Is this not morning yet? City looks even better in daytime. I guess we'll wait like another couple hours then. Wait till like 7. 7 must be morning. Oh, it's even stopped me as well. Look. Horns. I heard horns as well. Oh no, has the army turned up? They must have moved really quickly. Uh, I guess I'll follow the boys as we uh, get over here as, as quickly as possible. Go to the battlements and the outer bailey. I can, I can do that. You can see everyone running over here. Wow, yeah, we need to get over here too. So let's go ahead. Let's go and take, turn out our torch. We don't need our torch anymore. So let's unequip that. It's probably an easier way to do it. Let's go ahead and use the ladder as well. I know we are in a private area, but... Yeah, well, it doesn't... There's not really much we can do right now. This is the quickest way down. Let's go ahead and open up the, the gate. Get the hell down there. Can we see the army at all? No, we can barely... Yeah, we can't really see anything. But here it is. We'll go out through the gate. The drawbridge is here as well. And make our way to the battlements themselves. Luckily all the people have been brought inside the gate. Oh my god, there it is. That was a quick movement from Skelets. I guess we literally are just down the road. Indeed, Robard. 
Sigismund of Luxembourg has a rare talent for winning people over to his cause. You may be in for a surprise. I don't think he will set his heathen dogs on us today. Greetings, Lord of Tomberg. That's the guy who killed my father and mother. That's the bastard who let the attack of Scarlet and killed my parents. Don't be an idiot. Do you want to end up like them? Not particularly. Oh, look at his mace! I am Sir Mark Bart von Aulitz. I come in the name of Sigismund of Luxembourg, King of Hungary and Croatia, who has resolved to strike against those who disrupt Concord in the land and to restore order in the name of his brother, King Wenceslaus IV. Restore order by burning and pillaging the king's estates. Greetings, Sir Mark Bart. The efforts of the king's brother to bring order to this chaotic land are undoubtedly noble. It seems to me, though, that he and his army have somewhat strayed. As Burgrave of Prague Castle, I am entirely beholden to the king, and here in Taunberg, divine peace reigned until your arrival. To what then do we owe the honor of your visit? Yesterday, his majesty took action against the enemy of the kingdom, the Ratzik Kobila, who has been using the silver from the Scarlet's mine to fund insurrection against the crown. Unfortunately, the insurgent escaped. Would you happen to know, noble sir, where he might be at this time? As far as I know, the Sir Radzik of which you speak is the king's hetman at Scarlet's. I find it hard to imagine that he would rebel against our king. Nevertheless, I can assure you that Sir Radzik is not a Talberg. He would be a fool indeed to flee from one castle where he has little chance of defense to another where he has even less. Or do you take the view that my humble manner is any obstacle to your army? Nice, I like this golden tongue. This guy know, to knows how to play the poli political that game. That Kobila is not a Tarnberg, and that he has your loyalty. Sir Radzig Kobila is not here, and I have no intentions of getting embroiled in affairs from which I have nothing to gain. Very well, sir. As you wish. I will relay your words to the king in the hope he will be as well disposed as you seem to be. Those who have clean consciences and goodwill may find themselves well disposed even at moments like this, when there is little cause for joy. Farewell, sir. So Devish is an absolute beast. Listen to him go. His words, he sounds like a true politician right there. Giving answers to the questions which aren't really answers. Now we just have to see if the uh, King Sigismund of Hungary is uh, well disposed, as he put it. Look at his armor as well. That's spectacular. So he's going to lead his army offwards. I guess he'd go back to Skillets uh, because there's surely a lot of money he still needs to pick up from the silver mines and stuff. Get on with you, Robard. Oh, look at that mace. That sounds like a meaty put on his shoulder right there. But yeah, I doubt he could have he could have looted the whole of skeletons in like the the period. Oh, look at his ladders and everything back there. He was ready for a siege. I guess they would have constructed them from the previous day. But yeah, as I was saying, like, surely he hasn't looted the entire city in a day. I mean, he might have. Uh, so I guess our next objective is to bury your, your loved ones at Skelet's Tell Sir Rolla, get a horse. Okay, we can definitely do that. Are there anything in particular they want me to do first? Uh, if we go to... So yeah, we want to go back, obviously, to the capital... Or to uh, Skelet's uh, through that village. Again, the map is, is pretty big. We have still plenty of it to explore. Um, so let's go to our inventory. Let's go to our quest line. So um, our main quest line is run at the moment. Bury your loved ones. Talk to Soros and get a horse. I mean, we already have a horse, don't we? 
Um, so, yeah, cool. Let's go ahead and, I guess, talk what to Sir Robert. Hell are you doing? How you doing, my lord? God be with you. God be with you, sir. Um, I have to get to Scarlet's why did... Let's ask him why he raided it first. Why get a bit more information. Scarlet's and then come here, too? That's war for you, lad. Certain lords have resolved to take things into their own hands and eliminate anyone who doesn't share their view. Unfortunately, Sir Radzig is one of those. And what's more, he was sitting on a pile of silver that could help King Wenceslas' allies. So yeah, I guess it's kind of like a, I'm, I'm, I'm. He was trying to like, you know, portray his reasons as being just and for the king, but really he's kidnapped him and he's trying to take out everyone who would oppose him when he tries to take Bohemia for himself. It's not not a bad idea, not a bad idea at all. So let's tell him Sorry, we have to go back home. To get to Scarlet's. What would you do there, lad? Sigismund might have left, but the place will be swamped with robber barons, brigands, deserters, and other vermin. And anyway, your lord commanded you to stay here. Uh, so we can try and convince him I have to bury my parents. If you were in my shoes, you'd do the same. Uh, let me out before... I don't think we can threaten, you know, Sir Robot. He seems like a very veteranized soldier, and he's been in this business a long time. Could try and use our persuasion, our speech... Unfortunately, we don't have any information about Sir Robard, so I guess I'll say if you were in my shoes, you'd do the same. Sir Robard, my parents died there. I can't leave them to be eaten by dogs. What would you do in my place? Sorry, lad. No, we failed. I won't take orders. You'll have to wait until everything settles down and maybe your lord will change his mind. It wasn't really an order. I was just asking politely if you could allow me out. Of the, the castle's on the lockdown hell? right now, if I'm not mistaken. So our objective is just to simply get out of the castle. I believe if we go to the gate, I'm sure we're discovering stuff. Yeah, we're discovering plenty of stuff around here as well. I'm sure if we make our way to the gate itself, which is down here, hopefully we don't break anything. Good. Yeah, so we have to try and escape through here. I believe that's the only way out. I don't think we can jump over the battlements either, as the battlements do tend to be somewhat high. I mean, we can have a look, you know, because that's one of the awesome things about this game. There are multiple ways of finishing uh, my lord. There are multiple ways of completing these quests and, and finding the outcome. Yeah, I doubt we'd be able to jump down here. We'd probably break a bone or two if we tried. I mean, we could, but I, I, I assume they would chase us down and catch us. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to risk it in case, you know, he suddenly raises the alarm and I get chased down. We'll try and find an alternative route. So, we obviously, I think first things first is just to see if the uh, gateman will let us escape. Because he might just be like, yeah, sure, I'm feeling nice today. Um, I doubt we can raise the gate ourselves. I mean, this is definitely one of the things we could do as well, is we could wait until nightfall comes. We could wait uh, by pressing T, wait until nighttime, and then try and escape. That's definitely an opportunity. You know, we'd be able to sneak around the castle a lot more. But let's see if there's an easier way whilst we have the My time in day. Um, so let's tell him we have to get out of here. Yep. I need to get out of here. And I need a feather bed with a comely wench in it. <laughs> a comely it wench. Like we'll both be <laughs> wow. Our speech increased though, which is always good. Orders not to open the gate, and you especially are not to be let out. Um. So what do we want to do? We can try and bribe him. That could be a good thing. But we don't really have a lot of money. Seventy-two gold is not much whatsoever. Um. Don't you know who I am? I mean, he probably does, because obviously there's been a lot of talk about someone coming and warning these guys about Townberg, and obviously, you know, he just said, Sir Devish told him not to uh, let me out, so, and I don't think I can threaten him, so, could maybe try and lie to him, I'm going to say the top one, he seems like a, he seems like, you know, he's a lonely soldier, he's probably seen the brutality of war, so. My mother and father were left in scallops like carrion, I have to bury them, I can't leave them to the dogs. I'm sorry, my friend. Nice, we succeeded. Can't. You'll have to persuade but... Sir Robard, or think something up so I don't end up in a shit for it. Otherwise, forget it. Um, so we have to think something up. So we can basically. So let's see what, what he has in I mind. Supposed to think up. How should I know? Maybe some disguise so I could say I didn't recognize you. If a Townberg soldier turns up all kitted out properly, in armor and a helmet, then of course I let him go. That's obvious. All right, I'll have a look around for something. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So he did suggest that we could try and talk to So Robot, So Robot, So Robot. Oh, these names, man, are gonna absolutely kill me. So we could go ahead and talk to him and, and see if we can maybe escape our way out of here. I'm also gonna try and get a bit of money maybe from talking to this trader. 
I didn't mean to. S oh, there we you. go. Good. See if we can sell some of the, the stuff we picked we up trade? when we were fleeing our home. If you've got the coin. I mean, hopefully you've got the coin. I want to sell stuff. So what does he have at his disposal? Some food, lock picks, some of these saving tokens. Um, treasure map would be kind of nice. Obviously, we are we are broke though, so we don't really have a lot of money whatsoever. Yeah, we are we are very much broke. Oh, well, let's see if we can sell some stuff. We have a lot of apples. I assume we don't need this much. And again, it's slowly starting to depreciate. So let's try and go ahead and sell all of these. Yeah, let's sell every single bit. Hopefully, this will get us some money. So at the moment, we're getting free gold. Um, I guess a lot. Of, yeah, a lot of this stuff is depreciating in value. So we just want to get rid of it whilst we can before it comes awful. We can also see as well. Look at this. Our boots and our clothing are, are dirty right now. I do need to go and clean them if I can. Uh, poor quality arrow. I mean, we don't have a bow or anything right now. So let's just sell these arrows as well. They're they're worth quite a lot. He only has a little bit of gold left, actually. So I'm going to take back the marrows and just sell the rest of it. Oh, I did not mean to do that. I could have at least bargained with him as well. I mean, he doesn't really have a lot of money left, but maybe we can sell a few more bits of food. Sorry, I, I don't mean to spend a long time here. I do want to obviously get through the quests, but this money can definitely come in handy. So he has a little bit of gold left. Let's just... Lentil? That's expense. Oh, he can't pay for it all, which is a shame. Maybe we could buy something from him. Um, oh, that's what he sells. Okay. God, lockpicks are expensive as well. My my boyfriend, uh, whatever he was called, came in pretty handy. Pretty handy indeed. Um, I think everything else is we're going to keep. If we have a bit, I guess we can sell maybe a, a bit of cheese or maybe this bread roll would be good. And maybe a few more apples as well. Up to four. Cheese is worth a lot as well. I might go back and secure myself some more cheese from the, uh, from the area. Oh, this is worth three as well. Wow, I wish I would have sold these. Uh, but oh well, that's fine for now. We'll go to our basket. Just sell that. So we have ten ducats. That's not too bad. Um, but yeah, so back to the main quest. We go talk to Soroba, try and get him to let us go out. I don't think I'm going to change his mind though. I'm going to go ahead and talk to Lady Stephanie and try and can get her to try and help me. Because she seemed nice enough. She seems like she'll be happy with my cause. So yeah, we'll go ahead and try and find Lady uh, Stephanie. I assume she'll be back up either in the kitchen or she'll be up uh, in the the estate. So let's start off by looking in the kitchen if she is here. Also, if there's any more food I can pick up, that would be great. Uh, can I pick this stuff up? I can, great. Well, we're definitely going to pick up the cheese. The cheese sells for a lot, so we're going to pick that bad boy up. And thankfully, this isn't stealing or anything because I could originally have got it. Unfortunately, a lot of this stuff probably will, you know, go out of uh, date before we can find a proper trader to sell it to. Because that guy has, like, no money left. We'll also take our fill. Oh, we can't. How's our hunger looking? Uh, hunger is down to 60. I guess we can eat something, which is maybe not looking so good. Yeah, look at that, 13. I mean, I guess it's not really a lot. God, should we sell Serantic's sword? <laughs> Imagine. We're just like, Serantic, I had your sword, but then I decided to sell it. Um, let's just eat ourselves some uh, nice bread rolls, yeah. That'll boost up my, my uh, hunger. So she's not down here. Let's go up. She'll probably be up here then. And we'll see what she has to say on the matter. My lady, I don't want to go roaming around your bedroom. Oh my god. So savage. Don't mind me. Yeah, he's yeah he's not going to be happy if we come up here. Where is my lady? I guess maybe we're just going to have to try and find ourselves some armor ourselves. Because she doesn't seem to be around here. Unfortunately. Maybe she'll be up here. I don't want to go intruding around their house. This seems like a, a lodge of some sort. Is that, is that Lady Stephanie? <laughs> that is. Don't, don't mind me, dear. Safe. Can I, help you with I thought she'd be a bit angrier. Like, why the hell have you woken me up from my morning nap? Uh, so let's see if she can uh, help us I'd out. I'd like to ask your assistance, my lady, if I may be so bold. What's the matter, lad? Maybe there'll be a secret passage or something. Your husband is keeping me here by force. Why, for the love of God, would you want to leave the castle? I have to bury my parents. I need a bash. I threaten her. I mean, look at Lady Stephanie's, uh, like, aggression. Whatever this is classed as. She's looking pretty good. Uh, our speech is our best bet with Lady Stephanie. Ours is four and hers is two, so. My parents are lying in the mud of skulls at the mercy of dogs and jackdaws. I can't just leave them there. That's terrible. Nice. May the Lord have mercy on their souls. But how can I help you, Henry? I don't want your death on my conscience. If I could just get past the guard at the gate somehow. But, but 
you can. If you wear a proper suit of armor, and if he can't see your face, he won't recognize you and he'll let you go. Good thinking. Oh, well, where can I get? Where can I get the armor? I might have to bribe, pay a bribe you? Yeah, we'll... It's rather embarrassing. Will she give me some money? I pay a bribe. I need money. Unfortunately, I don't have any. Well, how would you? Don't worry your head about it. This should be enough. Oh, thank you, lady. So we could bribe him as well and maybe get oh, out that way. You, I swear. Yeah, they have 25. Nice. That gives us quite a lot. Um, what if they ask me where I'm going? Let's just... And where can I get the armour? At the armoury? Where's that? In the gate tower. But the soldiers sleep in other places around the castle too, and you might find armour nearby. Okay, cool. And also, what if they ask me where I'm going? They certainly ask where I'm going. You could tell them Sir Robard sent you to Ujitz. To ask the parish priest how the folk there are faring. Oh, reasonable. There was actually there was actually a option Thank to say that Sir Robot sent me. So maybe we can go back and tell that soldier that load of bullshit and get out. However, I do kind of want to steal myself some armor, you know. Because having that armor will be a nice little bonus to my current ghetto setup. Um, um, also, we do have a lockpick. Is anyone around? Because I might want to try and break into to, into these little chests. Because I imagine soldiers do live here too. We'll see. We'll try and lockpick this. Hopefully Lady Stephanie won't come out whilst I'm doing this. My lady, don't. Please don't interrupt me. So basically what you have to do is to find the sweet spot right there and hold down D and just keep it nicely rotated. Lady Stephanie. Oh, don't mind me, lady. Are oh, you just getting dressed? After you, of course. We weren't doing anything. Uh, anything we shouldn't know. I can't believe we walked in on her while she was sleeping and woke her up to ask her them questions. Hopefully she goes in somewhere. Of course, great. So let's get back to opening this. Oh, uh, it's just a torch. I mean, I guess we'll take them. They'll be good to sell. Unfortunate. Hopefully we didn't waste a lockpick. Okay, cool. So we have to go to the armory now. Get ourselves some armor. Obviously steal ourselves some armor as well. But everyone seems to be somewhat tired. So the armory, I think we walked past it previously. There's so many guards everywhere as well. I might try and... I mean, there'll be no armor here, surely. I wonder if, you know, she said where guards sleep. So in here as well, there could be a good opportunity to maybe... Is this someone else's room? Are these guards? Yeah, these are pri... Oh, God. I'm sorry. Didn't mean to wake you guys up. I'll just close the door and I'll be on my way. Okay, I guess we will go to the armory. This is like the storehouse. There won't be anything of value there. Let's just let's just go to the armory and, and see what we can get done. I assume the armory is here. Are there any guards around? Peek around the corner, obviously. The guard seems like he's maybe gone on patrol there. Doesn't look like there's anyone up there either. Let's give this a go. Obviously, we'll close the door. Um, and let's try and... It's very easy as well. We should be able to do this really quickly. Sweet spot is right there. Great, great, great. Let's keep on rotating our mouse. Quickly. Great. Unlocked it. Now, as I said, I want to be honorable, but I feel like, you know... Oh, God. We'll steal everything. A lot of armor there as well. Oh, God. So be a bit more careful. I'm sorry, my lord. I'm sorry, my lord. I might talk to him. See? Because he might be able to let me out as well. What is it? Oh, nothing, my lord. I'll just leave you in the armory. It's definitely... De a hundred I promise you, it still has equipment in there. I, I didn't just steal all the equipment. I can't speak to you either. I mean, what? it doesn't matter. Uh, so let's go back to our room. We'll put on our armor. And then we'll take our horse and escape back to Skelets and, and try and bury our parents. Sorry, this episode hasn't really had a lot of gameplay in it. I, I do apologize. Next episode should be a lot more. I think it's just more like storytelling. And hopefully you guys don't mind too much about that. You know, as this game is heavily dependent on story. So let's put on our armor then. We'll go to our weapons. We also picked up a pretty nice uh, weapon as well. I mean, we, we stole it so we can barely set. But look how expensive this is as well. I guess we'll we'll put down Sir Radzig's sword. Wait, why do we have two? I mean, I'm not complaining. I guess I must have taken two. Uh, so, yeah, we got that and then the armor. 
We'll put on all of this stuff. Uh, we already have that on. Replace that. Oh, we're looking pretty good. Male color as well. Um, yes, that's everything, right? The rest of my clothes are so dirty. My boots are still dirty. I didn't think I picked up any other boots. No, I didn't. So there, there we have it. Nice. We're looking pretty nice. I mean, I doubt this really covers our face much, but we'll go collect our horse. Just a normal soldier of Townburg coming out to, to leave the castle on patrol. Good day, my fellow Tamberian sir, <laughs> my uh, Tamberian soldier. Let's go ahead and get back on our horse. It's a pretty cool horse as well. Glad I picked this one because there was quite a few uh, enemy horses. And the horses as well were very much the people attacking Teresa at the mill. Um, I assume these are all the human horses, so it's not like these are going to be badly bred or anything. Don't mind me, my lords. Just simply making my way out on patrol. Just a normal Tamberian soldier. Like, I imagine, yeah, you could have waited till nightfall and maybe just jumped off the drawbridge or something. I, I just dig that so much. There's just so many ways to approach it. Like, I'm sure, you know, when Lady uh, Stephanie did tell me about telling this guard that... Um, telling this guard that Sir Robard told me to go and do something. That could have worked as well. I mean, I might go and say that anyway, see if he believes it. I need to get out of here. Then I'm afraid you're out of luck. Ah, I see. All right, then. But if you breathe a word about me to anyone... <laughs> he almost didn't recognize me for a second. I blend in that well. Open the gate, indeed. So let's make our way out now into the beautiful, beautiful city. And we should be able to uh, take a little look around Townburg as well. See the village right there. So you need to flee the castle and get to Scallops. I guess we'll, we'll just do that really quickly um, and then we will call it a, a video as we have just gone over an hour. I find myself just enjoying this game so much. I could literally just play and play and play. Town itself is looking marvelous. The castle as well. Like, just look at that. And again, this isn't exactly a, a huge castle. He was comparing it just to Scarlet's itself. So, Townburg must not even be... You know, it's a little bit bigger, but fortifications can't be as uh, any better, really. So, I believe we're going this way. Yeah, I believe we're going back. This is the way we came. Again, my dear soldiers, don't mind me. Um, I think it's this way. Yeah, it is this way indeed. I guess we'll go some speed as we are trying to flee the castle after all. See the battlements right there. Try and stay on the path as well. It'll probably be useful. Got a nice little quarry right here. I think, like, oh, there we go. Quest completed, Ron. Oh, we actually completed the quest. That's awesome. On our way back to our, our hometown. You'll have to wait for me here, friend. Better to keep going on my own. Oh, I don't want to lose my horse. My horse is cool. So, you actually make me go the entire way. I assume this is Scarlet, and it's been absolutely ruined. My god, they massacred the peasantry and burnt the castle down as well. They left nothing in their wake. I guess with such a large army, it would be feasible that they could just take stuff as they wanted it um, and, and move within the day because they just have so many people. But there we go, we completed that quest. 
Um, and I feel like that's where we're going to wrap up the episode. Not exactly a very happy start. I mean, my God, look at this. The, the church. I think this is a monastery. The, the church itself, yeah, is a graveyard right there. God, uh, what an absolute massacre right there. But next episode, we will make our way on towards our parents. Hopefully, we can see it in the distance as well, burning in smoke. Uh, hopefully, we can find our parents, bury them, and then be on our way back to either Townberg or to seek out Lord Radzig. Uh, hopefully, I, I really hope that you guys are enjoying this series. I'm having so much fun playing it. We could actually loot all of these bodies. That's the question. I'll leave it up to you guys. Should we loot these bodies? Again, I'm trying to be honourable, and I'm sure we will run across... Um, oh, my God. That's actually a person. Oh, no. Sorry. It's, it's, it's not. It's not a person called Dandelion. That's a flower we can go ahead and cut. Um, should we loot these bodies? You know, it's not like they're going to be needing it, but I feel like we're going to be running across looters on our way up, because that's what So Robard said, that there was going to be plenty of bandits and looters on our way there, so that's where we have our trusty sword. Uh, from Lord Radzig. But let me know in the comments, should we loot these people or, or are we saying honourable and we're not going to commit, uh, you know, basically, you know, these people don't deserve to be looted because, you know, they're peasantry and they've just been slaughtered. So let me know in the comments down below. Also, make sure to drop a like and a comment. Uh, it actually looks like a, a dude right there, actually, which we might have to fight next episode. And I'll see you guys in the next one.